Hi everyone and welcome back to Homehead Chef. Summertime is upon us and you know what that means. Barbecues, get togethers, pasta salads, which today I'm sharing my recipe with you on how I like to make pasta salad. Now when it comes to pasta salad, you can put anything in it that you like. This is just the flavors and ingredients that I like to put in it. Now before we do this, I want to remind you that I also have another YouTube channel. It's called Tagged Out. It's hunting, fishing, magnet fishing, just the great outdoors. If that's something you're interested in, make sure you head on over and check that out. I'll have a link for that down in the description. I don't want to waste any more of your time, so let's step up to the cutting board and see what we need. For this recipe, we are going to need about a half a box of pasta, already cooked and cooled down. You can use any type of pasta that you like. I like these spiral noodles that are different colors. I just think it creates more of an eye appeal. We're also going to need two ounces of pepperoni that have been sliced and cut in half. We're also going to need four ounces of mild cheddar cheese, four ounces of Monterey Jack cheese that are cut into cubes, two ounces of black olives, a small half of a red onion diced, one tomato that has been chopped, about one to one and a half cups of Italian dressing. I'm gonna be using my homemade dressing. If you're interested in that, I'll have a link for that down in the description and some salt and pepper. We're just going to take all of our ingredients, go right into our pasta, all but our Italian dressing. We want to give this a stir and a mix just to get everything well incorporated. Go in with the rest. I'll stir this up and then I'll get we'll come back. And once you have everything all mixed together, we're gonna go in with our Italian dressing. Now here's the trick. We want to get it all covered and coated but we don't want to make it swimming. So we're just going to add a little bit, toss it to coat, till it all looks nice and wet. The trick is to let this sit in your fridge for at least an hour and let those flavors really come together. Now before you take it out to a party or get together or eat it, you can always dress it with a little bit more. We're going to add a little bit of salt and pepper and then we're going to get a taste. Now, nice simple plating to serve at a barbecue, get together, whatever. We're just gonna pile this nice and high in the center of a nice big old bowl. There you go. Just like that. Make sure you can see all, everything that's in it. People are gonna love this. A little bit more. The only downfall of making pasta salad pepperoni is sometimes all the pepperoni sticks together. Oh well, whoever the lucky one is to get those, just to eat a little bit more. All right, isn't that perfect? All right, let's get a taste. All right, let's dig in. Let's try to get a bite, a composed bite with all the flavors in there. Mmm. Man, I love pasta salad. You get a nice, what is that? Zestiness from the pepperoni and Italian dressing, the creaminess from the cheese, the sharpness from the cheddar, nice brightness from the red onions. The olives add a nice little salty brininess to it. This is a fantastic pasta salad to take to a barbecue or get together. I hope you enjoyed this video. If so, please hit that thumbs up button. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe. If you're interested in the outdoors, I have a channel for that and I'll have a link for that down in the description. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one.